right, so. Are we a go? Let me check the stream. If my phone will let me. Come on. Do, 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 do. Doesn't look like a streaming. Oh no, it looks like it's there. Let's listen to it. Right, it looks. All good. Yeah, it looks good. Kill, kill. Right, let us go. What do I need to do? Oh, my recovery should go back. Good boy. No, please don't. There's, please don't die. <coughs> okay, so I actually need to now build a second recovery ship because <laughs> I've lost the other recovery ship. Where's my prawn suit? What's it doing over there? Jesus, it's miles away. Do I have anything in my inventory? No, I don't think so. Oh, I don't know, in the stops. What the hell? Does it stop? Stream? Hold on. Oh no, there it is. Looks like it's going. Okay, we're good. All good. Right, let's. End of call. Yeah, looks like it's going. Right, I need to collect some resources. What do I need to build a prawn suit? What have I got? Right. Not prawn suit, a fucking... Not DD. Blueprint. Two more. Titanium. Power cell. Glass. Lubricant. Lead. Okay. This helps me navigate quicker, so... Seems like it pulls me quicker anyway. Let me get out a minute. I don't know if I have any lubricant, so... I shall steal some of this. Enter prawn. There's actually a uh, need some need some uh, titanium. So infected shit. I already know I've infected that. What's that for effect? Need this. Need this. Bit of glass. Have a bit of this. What's in it? Lead? No, titanium. How much space have I got? Enough for a bit more titanium. So. This. Can't grab that, can I? No. 
here anymore. I don't want to pop up. I don't really need pop up, but I've got two more spaces. Let's see if I can find a couple more of these little outcroppies. Preferably with some lead, but I think these ones you can't get lead in, so never mind. Hello, mate. Enter. Got a bit confused there. Oh, I do have a couple of these in there on me. Taking this back because I think I uh, should probably charge it up. There we go. So, yeah, I recently, uh, well, I haven't been streaming for a while. <laughs> I apologize if you've been watching my streams and if uh, I doubt there's anyone, but if you do, I apologize. Uh, up we go. So yeah, I've uh, been very busy with work. I'm quite busy this week, but I actually have a Tuesday off, so I thought, fuck it, I shall stream. Welcome aboard, Captain. Right, what do I want to do? Right. Let's take. Oh, I can't take it out yet. Uh, let's go. Doof. Doof. Did I just need one titanium ingot? I think I did. So there's that. Lubricant. I need two lubricant, don't I? I think I do. So, okay, I'll keep that. Let's go over here. Over this. Okay, do I have more lubricant so I don't have to go back to where I used to? Oh, it doesn't look like a... Ah, but... Uh, we'll go here. Ooh, go here, here. Get some glass, because I do need some glass. Get some lubricant. Right, so... Lead, lubricant. That might be everything. How do I get up to the uh, the big one? Right. If I can build it, that'd be lovely. No, fuck. What do I need? Oh, a power cell and another glass. Okay. So, go back in the water. That's near enough, not fully run out, but let's put it in here. Take these out. Take that out. Let's ask. Put a full charge battery in there. Oh, I don't really need one. Don't really need one. Might well, I could place that one. What else have I got? 100. Rarely use that to be honest. Could place well that that one with that. Hold on, I just put the hundred charge percent charge ones in there. Um there we go. No, um, no 
going for the ass. So that has a med kit thing, but I'll take it anyway. No, wrong thing. I need that. Up here. No storage room here either. Nice hat. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. How's it going? Not too bad. Got a cold. Not too bad. Ah. Got it at EGX, sadly. Oh, the dreaded con curse. Yeah. The curse? Con curse. Well, I mean, it kind of is. Con, con sickness. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. I got Ooh. it on this. I got it on the sad eye. Luckily, we'd Aww. done most of what we'd ma mo mainly wanted to do on the uh, Thursday and Friday. Mm. So we weren't in no like rush to go do shit and queue up all the time and stuff. So we just gotcha. chilled out. But yeah. But yeah, this hat I bought <laughs> when I was there. <gasps> Might take off, I'm bloody sweating in it. What, 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 what actually is it? That's, like, an what, what, what? that's an alpaca. An alpaca. Oh, okay. Yeah, alpaca. I've got a big one as well. I've got, I've got this as well. I've got this little <laughs> teddy. <laughs> I like way overspent though at bloody EGX. Mm. I spent about 300 quid. Jesus. Must be nice. Yep. I wouldn't know what that is. Should have saved my money though, because I want to try and learn to drive soon, so. Oh, okay. I was going to do it this month, but I sort of spent all my money, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what now do I need? Oh, I need another gun. Oh, fuck. <sighs> So did you just decide that you just wanted to drive, or was there like a specific reason you wanted to drive um, now? I've been thinking like, if I learned to drive, I could like become a delivery driver and then quit my fucking job at WX Smith. <laughs> oh, okay. Fair enough. Because I've thought about do doing delivery driving for a while, because like, okay. that seems pretty cushy, just like, driving around and dropping off packages, and you don't really need to deal with people much, because you just turn up, give them their shit, and fuck off. And then, yeah, I know you, man. And then with how work's been lately, it's been like, yeah, I need to get out of this job. <laughs> yeah. So I, got, I hear you. In the past, like, month, I've done three weeks where I've done six-day weeks. I'm still Oof. heading. Yeah. Oh dear. It's been ages since I've done this. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I know you how this game ends now. Oh really? So I, I wa the yeah the the guy I, the the guy who I was watching finally got back to it and finished it. Oh right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I am eating cookies. Lovely. Bit mm. early for cookies, in it? No. <laughs> oh, right, where there was a fucking time to eat cookies. <laughs> I just have them with my tea. Oh, right. Got a dunk. <laughs> just hope the biscuit doesn't fall in the tea, because that's the worst. Yeah, it's not good, is you it? You <laughs> dunk it in too much. Yep. Remember when I had a strip <laughs> waffle with my um, tea coffee a while ago? And, like, you can leave them on top of your like coffee, your, your hot drink to like warm up the caramel in it and stuff 
mm-hmm. and I put it on there. I was sitting there playing on my computer, not paying attention, and then I turn and look at the the strip off on my cup, and that had all the middle bit had all sunk into the cup. Oh, oh. And I was just like, "Oh crap! I forgot about that." <laughs> I didn't think I looked at that. <laughs> that wasn't good. You gonna play any horror games since it's October? I was thinking about it, actually. Think about maybe um, doing like a nightmare run of um, Resi Seven or something. Ooh. You gonna stream it or record yeah, it? Yeah, I was thinking of streaming it. Maybe Ooh. doing it on like Tuesdays once I complete this, because I don't think I'm far Ooh. off this one. So. Yeah. I would, I would like play one horror game, but like I said, the Philip said I don't have any. <laughs> so oh. I, can't, I can't play what I don't buy. <laughs> you know, it's like I don't have any, man. Yeah, like, like I, the the only way I'd, I'd have to like bottom of the barrel check Steam for free to play horror games. <laughs> that would be like the only thing I could do. But, uh, you know, I don't buy them because I don't really play them. Yeah. Um, so I, 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 I can't. <laughs> I was like, if someone wants to buy it for me, sure, then I can play it. Maybe someone will be generous. I ain't got no money. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I mean, BGS kept buying me stuff at one point. On Steam. Or maybe I'll just make a Patreon and then have people buy a Switch for me. <laughs> um, Worth a try. I think I, I I think I told that the first time on stream. I thought I already um I thought I already like did it, but I guess I well I should say on 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 one of my streams I thought I already mentioned it, but I guess I didn't because I mentioned it and put this was like what, what? the hell <laughs> <laughs> and I said oh have I not told you this story yeah apparently if you're popular enough people will donate money for you for you so that so you can buy a new console that's a thing people <laughs> will do that some people will if you're lucky enough that'd be nice unfortunately we're not popular enough and no one gives a shit about us no. so that's not gonna happen <laughs> to us but. Yeah. It's a thing, man. It happens. It's crazy when you think about it. It's like you're not even a charity. It's just, no, nah, it's just I want to get this console. And it's like, well, you know, you should probably buy it like everyone else mm-hmm. has to buy it. Let's get people to. I mean, again, you can't stop people from donating their money if they want to do it. Yeah, exactly. Still don't get why Jacob donates <laughs> money to us, to be honest. <laughs> but, but he does, bless him. It's like he's the only one who thinks we're actually great. And so does he still, still like, donate money then? Yeah, he does. Yeah. Oh, he does. Well, he doesn't donate. He 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 uses the Bit system now because he's a oh, subscriber for okay. us. Oh, okay. Yeah. And Bits, like obviously, uh, they. They convert into a little bit of money. Yeah, it's not much. You have to like donate a lot of bits, I think. Yeah, for to it to like benefit. convert. And um, I don't even know. I don't even know when we get the money. I don't think it's instant. I I, I know that might be they... like end of the month or something. Yeah, I know you can't. I think it says you can't get a payout until you earn a certain amount, though. I know that. Ah. Like an actual payout, payout. So I don't know if that means I don't know if it just means that we just won't get the money unless we earn enough, or it just means that if we wanted to say we wanted to physically take it out, like you know, from like we didn't want to transfer it to the bank, physically take it out, we couldn't until we earned enough. I'm not quite sure, uh, okay. um, but I guess we'll see um, if anything happens at the end of the month. But not that we'd get much, but still something. Yeah, he also gifted a couple of people, I think. Um, well, he, well, he gave he gave he gave a sub to to Footloose. I remember, oh, because really? he had some good he had some good luck. Yeah, he won a bit of money. He told oh, me okay. <laughs> he was in a really he was in a really good mood, and it's like, yeah, I want some money, and I was like, oh man. So he yeah, made Footloose a sub because Footloose is too cheap to sub to us. <laughs> 
One thing I was um, thinking of doing is I've got my um, free sub soon, so I was going to use that on our channel. Twitch, <laughs> right? <laughs> give us some benefit out of it. Because <laughs> usually all I do with it is I'll sub to some random person I I like watching YouTube videos watch. of, but then don't watch their mm -hmm. Twitch because I don't really watch Twitch. So you don't watch their Twitch. That's yeah. pretty much wasted. So if I just sub to us, at Maybe. least I'm getting a use out of it. I know what you mean. Yeah. So yeah, I'll probably just do that. Also, guys, you can you can you can subscribe for free with Amazon Prime and Twitch Prime. <laughs> no, I, I don't. I don't. I don't tell anyone that. Whenever I say that, I'm always joking. I mean, obviously, you can. Like, in all seriousness, of course, you can do that. But yeah. like, I don't really tell people to do that. I'm not. I'm not going to be that person. No. That's just not what I'm all about. Uh, I know some people do, and that's fine. That's up to them. Uh, they're probably like way more popular than us, so <laughs> they probably make money from it and uh, like a lot of money, and it might even be their job. So I can understand why they would try to push it a bit yeah. more. But yeah, no, it's just kind of like it's there, and you know, people's people. I think I think people see it. S sometimes they might not, but I, I think people know they see it. It's just like subscribe button or follow button on yeah, yeah, on YouTube. It's like. Most people you'd think would know about it, you so. Would have thought so you'd th yeah you'd you'd have thought so yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh excuse me. I mean, I have seen some people in some people's chat ask how do they subscribe to their Twitch. Really? And people are like top corner. Yeah, yeah people like, like look at the big right sub. <laughs> I mean, it says subscribe. Yeah, but. Well, mm, you know, not everyone is observant, are they? <laughs> it's obviously not. Like the reality of it all. Mm. It's like when I was applying to this, I was applying to this um, application form for a job. And I swear, like, sometimes I wonder if these, these um, forms are, like, made by chimpanzees or something. Because I swear they don't make sense half the time. Oh, Brad, I'm, I'm, Brad, I'm sure chimpanzees could probably write it better than what the hell <laughs> that state that was. I was like, who, who, who fucking creates this shit? Like, it don't even make sense half the time. I'm oh, like, really? what? Like, like, w like, one of the ones is like, I was, I was filling the form. Um, didn't seem too bad so far. Um, I so I uh, tried to submit, and you know that you know that prompt up where it says, "Oh, you can't submit because you forgot to do something." And I'm like, "Well, what did I forgot to do? What forget to do?" And there's a literal tab. There's a literal tab that just says message, and it doesn't say what. Really? Like what you're supposed to do? It just do says that. message. Type something. It doesn't even say type something here. It just says message block. And I'm like, "What do you want? What do you want like, from like, me?" Like, <laughs> like, like, way, way to be super clear on that. Thanks. Like, good job. <laughs> like, that's not. That's totally not vague at all. Like, message. What message? And uh, not not gonna lie, I was tempted to write. I just want to reply to your fucking job. Like that's literally <laughs> yeah. what I was tempted to. I was like, so why would you even include this uh. stupid ass little section and make it mandatory? Like you have my CV. <laughs> like what? This is so dumb. Who wrote this? Uh, in the end, I was just like, I want to apply to this job. I don't know. Like, what else do you want from me? I don't, like, it's just, like, what message? I was like, is this some sort of code or something that I missed <laughs> in the description? Like, what? I don't know, because it could be. But, nah, fucking no. It, I probably could have wrote anything there and it would have went through. They just wanted it filled out. So, I doubt I'd even hear from this company anyway. Yeah. I think it was a warehouse job or something. Um... No, it's funny you say about driving. My dad said about that with me. But I think the reason why he wants me to drive, honestly, is because he wants me to drive him to places. Oh, he doesn't right. want to drive anymore. I think that's what it is. <laughs> He's getting older, and, like, my sister's, my sister's kind of, like, in her own life now. So it's yeah. like, well, Jay's still at home. He's got nothing better to do. He should, he should just drive us about. And I'm like... And I'm kind of like at that point where I'm like, well, I don't know if I want to drive, <laughs> but I'm kind of getting semi pressured into because they want me to drive around. I'm like, Ugh, need uh, the money I don't for that, it. though. <laughs> well, exactly. That's, not cheap. That's like what I brother, told them. My brother, when he learned, he paid of two grand 
in total for his lessons, like more than two grand. And if you fail, you have to do it yeah, again. You have to do tests and stuff. All that, over that's again. that's pretty much what Mark had to do, and then he um he told me he said he, he gave up in the end because he kept failing. Yeah, and it just costs a lot of money. Yeah, Maybe I'll go back to it one day. I don't know, but I don't like. I don't blame him after putting in the effort and just yeah, like and not getting anywhere. Yeah, it's exactly. like it's not money, man. The drive. Yeah, but I did remember at one point my mum straight up offered to pay for it, and I was like, <laughs> I don't know. I feel kind of bad about that because I was like, you, it's a, it's a lot of money for me, like for you to do all that. Um, and even my sister was like, you should have just done it, and I'm like. Again, it's it's that whole you should just do it because other people tells you to. Like I fucking yeah. hate that. Like I hate that. I'm not a kid. Like I'm <laughs> fucking twenty six years old. I can make my own decisions. Jesus Christ. Yeah, <laughs> but they like to make you feel bad and feel yeah. like you should do something even though it's like your life and your choice. It's like you know, you should totally do it and like and you know, my my dad gave up the fair argument afterwards is that Oh yeah, but you know you could get a job. Perhaps you can drive around and do something again, something similar to I think like what you were saying about yeah. delivery driving. And it's like, I'm like, yeah, I get that. I get that. Um, I just don't know if I want a driver to be honest, and I don't even know if I, I don't know if I really want a job where my job is around driving all the time. Ah, because yeah. personally, I do prefer the walk. I do prefer the bike. If I could, I would bike around. But I see a lot of technician jobs. Um, but you have to, they expect you to drive around to people's places all the time. And it's like, can't I just bike? <laughs> Obviously, I can't do that because yeah, yeah, probably problem. gear and shit yeah. in the van or whatever. But yeah, it's just like a lot of jobs are like that now when they want you, they really want you to, even cleaning jobs. I can't apply, most of the time, I can't even apply to a cleaning job without them expecting you to learn how to drive. And it's like, well, why do I have to drive anywhere? <laughs> I just can't. I just go to the workplace. Like my auntie, she's a cleaner. She's always gone to this workplace. You know, she just walks to wherever she works at and she cleans. Yeah. I'm like, why can't I just do that? Like, why do I have to drive? Why does everything have to be around driving? And it's like, if you don't have any money, like I say, you can't learn to drive anyway. Yeah, so exactly. you're kind of boned, really. You're screwed. Oh. Yeah, everything's different. Everything's different now. Mm. You're expected to do this and that. <clears throat> I know in the end, I'm probably gonna have to learn how to drive. I reckon. Well, you don't I have just to have do, a feeling. Just depends. Mm. It's like my mum doesn't know, know how to drive still. She does mm. want to. It's just she's never been able to afford it. Well, she took yeah. lessons years but ago. I mean, but, like, the guy she had was basically fucking her around. Ah. And he'd keep, like, dragging lessons out. And in the end, she, like, stopped with this guy. And then <laughs> just couldn't afford to carry on afterwards. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah. I think she does Fair intend enough. to sooner or later, though. But it depends on when she can. My, well, my, um... My dad was telling me, and I don't know why, I, I mean, I guess he was just telling me in general, but he normally doesn't really tell me much about the family, to be honest. I'm the type of person who hears things last, oh, um, really? because I because I made I made the comment, which I guess they either didn't put two and two together, or they're trying to be super fucking petty, but when I made the comment, and because I used to get pestered a lot about random things that means absolutely nothing, nothing important. Nothing to do with like family or oh hey like this person's getting married or or oh no someone's injured themselves so they're in hospital nothing serious nothing important like that just random stuff and I said I don't mind but at the same time like they would always interrupt me when I'm recording and stuff like yeah. that and I'm like I just let you know I'm recording it'd be great if you didn't interrupt me <laughs> um, things like that and my mom would be like oh wait oh, right then we won't we won't you you know being all silly like that and I was like yeah like I appreciate it. <laughs> and stuff and whatever and so like i think out of spite they just don't tell me anything at all even oh, if right. and i'm like are you serious like how old are you like come on i obviously meant tell me the important stuff mm. so he so my dad randomly was like 
So, so um, your auntie Diane is like finally learning how to drive. I'm, I'm not sure how old she is. Um, I want to say well, she's over in her late forties or early fifties. My dad's kind of like I think mid fifties now. I think. Well, she's the youngest of his family, so she might be in her late forties, something like that. I'm not 100 percent sure. Yeah. Um, but she, but my dad's like, yeah, like she's just she's finally getting her lessons together and stuff. I just wonder why he told me that. I wonder if he was trying to hint Can, me to do yeah, it. Maybe. I don't really know. <laughs> Even though he clearly knows I can't afford it, and I doubt like my parents could afford me lessons now anyway especially yeah. now my mum's gotten really 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 deep ill again like she's not even in the right state of mind to do anything so it's like yeah that's just not happening anytime soon that's yeah, just exactly. not happening like the reality is is that i just need to focus on getting a job that i can go to that doesn't require me to pay money because i don't have the money <laughs> exactly <laughs> it's just the that's the reality of the thing man I need to be able to just get there by myself, by walking or um, or, or biking, really. Though I do need to kind of fix my bike, so that might be an issue. But I'm sh like, if I have to like walk to the interview and it takes me an hour, then fuck it. That's what <laughs> I'll have to do. That's what a cheap man, no money has to do. <laughs> Nothing else you can really do about it, so... That's for a lot of the time it kind of turns me off from um, applying outside of Ipswich because you're spending money where you probably have to take a train to go somewhere else to go to an interview only to get rejected and then you have to do it all over yeah, again. Exactly. Yeah, you know, it's a lot of hassle <laughs> to do that. I mean, I mean, I know my dad would probably say something like, oh, but it's an interview experience. I mean, yeah, but I could also get interview experience in Ipswich without spending any money. No, exactly. If, you know, if I were, if, if, if there were jobs available, but it's like, and and I'm probably just applying to a just a generic job anyway, not like a job I care for. Like, there, like, whenever I see a job, I don't think, I'm, like, you read a description, they say, like, do you have the drive to succeed? And I'm thinking... No, <laughs> of course I don't. <laughs> Did I say that when I applied to fucking Dunbury Smith? Probably. Of course, it was a bloody lie. But the point <laughs> is, is that well, most people probably do that anyway to get Pretty to much. get the job. But but there really isn't any job anymore. I thought that was IT, but I don't even really care about IT anymore. It's like it's too much of a hassle to try and get that type of work anymore. They won't even take you on. Really, there isn't really any job to me that I can think of, that I've known or seen, that makes me say, yes, I really want to work here and I'm passionate. It's more like, no, I just need a job that's just keep my head down, not really doing much for the people, just pay me my, you know, I do my work, pay me my wage, I come home and I basically try and... <laughs> hope that I can make Twitch and YouTube a thing one day because that's the uh, like it's the only thing I can see myself being passionate about now is yeah. like something related to gaming I'll be honest like all motivation for me is gone um so really it's just kind of forcing myself to do something that I can tolerate as opposed <laughs> to whether I like or not the customer service I cannot tolerate oh, fuck customer service mm. oh like whenever i look at jobs on in indeed now i always look at the reviews um i actually forgot that there there were actual reviews for the companies yeah uh, granted, granted they are a lot different like some of them are like old so things could have changed ah, between yeah. that time and um sometimes there are they, there are different like uh um not different companies what's the word um they are spaced out in different areas i guess is oh, the way right, to yeah. say it they're they're the, the same company but they're they're like there's different departments i guess yeah in different parts of the country so someone might be complaining about somewhere in norwich as opposed to someone who's not complaining in ipswich saying that it's actually decent in ipswich or something yeah because it depends um, on the managers and stuff in that yeah because they could be talking about the management or the staff or they could be talking about the specific area of work that they work in um or they could just be talking about the whole company in general i don't know but mm. but yeah 
it, it, and plus it's also hard to go by some like people's interviews and whatnot i do feel like it is handy for those type of things um, I feel like if you were interested in the type of job, you have to go for an interview at least, if you can. Because I, I, I think that you can uh, kind of tell roughly when you're, in an, when you're in an interview, the type of vibe you get, especially when you're being interviewed um, from whoever you're being interviewed. I feel like you can kind of tell the type of person they are and the type of person you're going to have to work with. Yeah. Um, like when I went for that one interview, and that and that that guy, I just felt like was really fucking rude, and was, and this was this is when I was an apprentice who was learning, and he was acting like I was supposed to know everything, and I'm like, am I applying for an apprenticeship pos- pr- apprenticeship pos- position, or am I applying for an advanced <laughs> IT job that I'm not qualified to do? Like, what's going on here? And you know, and then he would say funny things like, he'd look at me and he'd be like, do you not want this job? And I always wanted to laugh when he said that. I'll be honest. I was like, "Are you? Are you? Are you, are you for real?" And I'm and I'm, and I'm and I'm thinking in my head. I'm like, "That's not a fucking job. It's an apprenticeship. There yeah. is a difference. Are you gonna pay me a full fucking wage? No, it's not a job, yeah, exactly. you idiot. It's an apprenticeship, you dipshit." But I, I just made me laugh. And when I realized the type of type of person he was, and I like the fact that he was like, "Oh, um, I'm much nicer when I'm outside of work," and I'm like. Well, I don't give a shit about outside of work. <laughs> like, I'm not going to interact with you outside of work, mate. Once I'm done with work, I'm going home. <laughs> Fuck you. Like, it's supposed to be like, you need to be able to get along with your colleagues and your boss. Our boys know you're going to clash. Things that, things are not going to work out. So it's more important where whether I'm going to get on with you in the workplace because that's where i'm gonna see i'm not gonna see you outside no exactly once the, once, like after that i'm gone who gives a shit about the outside <laughs> like i'm doing my own shit after that like are you, like, are you serious i knew straight away i was like nah i ain't i ain't i don't want to work for this guy Fuck <laughs> off. no way screw that sounds way too serious as well i'm like yeah no i, I ain't all about that Nope. That was probably the worst interview I had, I reckon. And that wasn't even for a job. It's just an apprenticeship. Yeah, I think I've only ever really interviewed for like two apprenticeships. Mm. After I did that one for Ashley, I was like, yeah, I'm not doing an apprenticeship again. <laughs> wouldn't even be yep, able to afford waste it. of fucking time. Yeah. I wouldn't even be able to afford it to really do it is. now with how little apprentices get paid. I know it'd be higher right. now that I'm older, but I think that's probably still pretty shit money. Yeah. And to be honest, I yeah, think yeah. most companies wouldn't hire <clears throat> someone my age anyway for an apprenticeship. I mean, you say that, like, they did raise it so that anyone can now do yeah. apprenticeships at any age. The thing is, though, so... the older you are, the less funding the company gets for hiring you. Uh... So basically, they're more likely to hire someone younger someone who, who younger. they can get more money back from and cheap get more labor towards, yeah rather than someone cheap my age where labor. they'd have to put a lot more money into into having me mm-hmm. yeah makes sense i guess no, i yeah, still keep getting just, emails just asking me labor. to do bloody coding jobs and stuff it's bloody annoying <laughs> like one was like <sighs> oh we've been had someone recommend to us you to do this certain dot net developer position and i'm thinking who the fuck told you to email me and the thing is the place was where i worked for ashley so i'm wondering whether he works for him or he knows him and he just told him about me (laughs) which would be strange but it's just like the way they said oh we've had someone recommend you to us and it's like Mm. don't know who that would be but (laughs) Saga, I think you got the wrong person. (laughs) 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 After the stream, I need to remember to upload my bloody, uh, streams. I keep forgetting to bloody upload them. 
Oh, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got... mean, I've, I still got to render the other stuff as well. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah, I've got both of them um, exported, ready to upload. Cause like yeah, I did yeah. upload part two, but then when I watched it back, I should have watched it back before I uploaded it, to be honest. But when I watched it <laughs> slightly back, I was like listening, and I was like, hold on a minute, this is bloody. This is silent. There's no sound. What the hell? Oh no. So I was like, I don't know what happened there. That's just weird. Like when I was playing it in the editor, it sounded fine. So mm. I don't understand. So what happened. sat on the do the edit and pro read it and rendering. Process yeah, while I was rendering, it fucked up. Obviously, I don't know. It's mm. just weird. Or the format or something. Mm. Yeah. I have had problems with that with Vegas sometimes. Um. Not often, but sometimes, like, uh, like I'll, I'll have no sound for some reason. Um, it doesn't happen often, it's like very rare. But I have had, like, I'll just render the video, and for some reason it's gone silent. And I'll check the editor, and I'm like, Is there not sound here? And I'll play it, and I'm like, No, there is. And I'll do it again, and then it's just fine the second time. <laughs> it's kind of weird. So, and I also know that depending on the file like how long it is how big it is and how much i've edited if i don't give it full attention um it will have like blank spots in it oh, um right. like basically i'd i have to have vegas like on the main screen it has to be like high priority if i were to minimize it or if i were to say bring up like an like Internet Explorer or something, then when I go back, I'll notice like on the previous screen it'll be black for a second and then it'll flip back. Well, yeah, if you if you if you check the video after it's been rendered, um, all those times you weren't looking at the main screen, there's been black spots randomly oh, in the really? video. It yeah, like you what? like the you have to you have to have Vegas on like. The main screen. It depends. Like I've noticed, I've noticed if it's like under an hour. Like if it's like half an hour to forty minutes, it's fine. But if it's like an hour or more, you like you have to have Vegas up on uh, up on on the main screen. Otherwise, oh, it right. will just cause errors and shit. It's like priority, I guess. It can't Sorry. handle it. At least <laughs> it might. It, again, it might be just the processing thing. Like maybe if you had a better processor, it might be able to handle you doing other things. But I do think it's partly because um, my processor can't handle like an hour like video or stream ah, while right. doing other stuff at the same time. So I kind of have to just leave it alone. Otherwise, it causes issues when it renders. Yeah, it's a bit annoying, but yeah, it's like well, well more. It's fine, I guess. It has to be done. If it has to be done, it has to be done. And I'm like, when I'm rendering these streams, they take like two hours to do, or even more. Yeah, mine and take like, way longer than that. <laughs> yeah, mine take, like, like four hours to go. I was like, what the fuck? Well, you're 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 doing the whole thing. I'm splitting them up ah, right. into like hour long parts. Because yeah. if I didn't, it would probably take like five hours to do. I ain't got time for that. <laughs> I ain't got time. I ain't got five hours a day, you know. I yeah. got maybe two to three hours in me, but not five hours. <laughs> so I just have to do two to three hours per day, um, because that's what I have to do. Otherwise, I'll never get anything done. Yeah. So I split it up. Yeah, I've been leaving mine yeah. to render when I go to work. Hmm. Oh, dear. <clears throat> oh, I finally got back to my little sea moth that I buried underwater. <laughs> I've got three sea moths now. <laughs> I built one ages ago that please don't die. And then I got it stuck somewhere. So I had to build another ship to try and recover that one. Mm -hmm. But then I found something new, so I started exploring it, didn't pay attention to my oxygen meter, and then drowned. <laughs> so then I've had to build another one, so I can come get this one. <laughs> but I've got it, finally. <laughs> yeah, we Hello 
everyone that is dead. Right. Okay. <sighs> Dark Souls for the Switch comes out soon. Which oh I'm yeah. Looking forward to. I was hoping to have a capture card by this point so I could record it, but uh, that's probably not going to happen. <laughs> if I get paid more than I expect this month, I might get one still. Just depends. <laughs> What's up, Mr. Remember Me in the chat? Now I can hear British and Subnautica. Is that a good <laughs> thing? I don't know. No idea. Why do some people like British British accents? I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I mean Grant, I mean, I'm probably saying that because I am British. I might appreciate it more if I was from a different country, maybe. I don't know. Not too sure. But... I'm trying to figure out where I gotta go. This is a kind of a cool looking area. Yeah, it's um, like, it's quite dangerous, though. <laughs> yeah, what well, kind of looks guys, like. Bad yeah. I got, like, fully infected down here as well. Jesus. And I think there was more in this base that I died in, so I'm trying to find it again so I can actually fully explore it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, is this it? I think this is it. The new, uh, I think the DLC for this comes out, or the expansion pack comes out for this soon. Is it that ice world thing? I yeah, I can't about. remember what it's called, like the frozen something or some something uh, like that. Mm hmm. Yeah, that looks looks interesting. I think they're releasing it in early access first. Oh, thank you for the, thank you for the follow, Mister. Remember me. Thank you very much. I know if you have your notifications up, good. <laughs> <laughs> that might be because of my setup, but yeah, yeah you, I you say, have I, it on. I haven't set anything up, so <laughs> that's me then. Yeah. Thank me for everything. <laughs> I get all, all the credit. I do all the work. Yeah. Because I got nothing better to do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Though, 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 your setup is old now compared to mine because mine's, mine's been adjusted for like bits and stuff. Ah, right. So if someone sends bits, it's going to be all fucked up on your end. Oh, okay. Probably. <laughs> Probably. I'm not sure, actually. Um, it might be all right. That was a pain to set up, I can tell you. Different fonts and different things, different, because they have like, like separate fonts and sizes um, for like two different messages. And, and then for like each different size of cheers that they do, you gotta change the, you gotta change the size again. It's <laughs> oh, like, really? wow, there's like so much font. Yeah, because it comes up tiny otherwise. That's and you, you can't, like, if someone leaves a message, because they don't always have to, but if they do, you can't read it. You have you have to change the size. Grant, the only one who who's ever done that is Jacob, but I'm just saying, if anyone else does yeah, in the future, now. yeah, it's best that it's be it's best to get it all set up and stuff. It's ready. We're ready to take your messages. Hi, <laughs> but Game Message UK helpline. We're here to answer your call. I don't know if you, um. Uh, I don't know if you've been like checking out um, Hat Films or anything, but they've been recently doing this random Skype message thing where they try to help people. I can't tell if it's serious oh, okay. or not because those blokes are not serious. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're they're clearly not. That's the whole point of them. But like they they literally call themselves Hat Daddies, where they literally ask for people to send them emails, messages, Skype messages. Um, and they will try their best to answer it. But obviously, most of the time, they're joking. Sometimes they actually sound legit serious about answering <laughs> their questions. But, like, and I, honestly, I think sometimes the people who ask, 
to ask them actually like legit want advice for them and i'm like you want advice from these blokes are you sure <laughs> when they when they almost literally can't make a joke without without adding the word penis in it are you see are you sure you want advice from these guys like uh but there you go it's, i was just listening to it um it's actually kind of funny um it's like a random little thing. I think they're experimenting because I honestly think they they're not really sure what to do with the channel at the moment. I think oh, so. Right, they're yeah. kind of like doing random stuff, but people seem to really like it. It's it's so random, it's so funny. They they all they they're all trying to talk like proper as well. That they're all like, <laughs> "Welcome to Hack Daddy." They're all talking all quiet and shit. It's like it's like we're here to answer your questions, and I just like the fact that when when they get to trot, trot's like. Yes, don't make sure to fucking subscribe. Like he just starts getting really loud when he talks about subscribing. He starts swearing and shit. It's like what? And then he goes back to normal. And he's like, "Yes, thank you." It's like what? So fucking random. They are a good laugh, I will admit. Um, if you want a good laugh, uh, and hey, they're they're British as well, so you can't go wrong. Um, I've only ever watched films. a couple of their videos. They get, they're good for a laugh, huh? I've only ever really watched a couple of their videos. Mm. Yeah, I don't really care much for what they play. <laughs> I'll be oh, honest. Right. Um, I don't watch them. I don't watch them because of the games they play. I don't really care about Grand Theft Auto Five that they keep playing it. Um, I just, I just care about their banter, their banter and their jokes. Their banter and their jokes are hilarious. So that's <laughs> why I listen to them. I know I just put them on as like a podcast and 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 listen to their banter and. They do say some funny shit from time to time, so. But I'm glad Mark recommended them to me. Ah. Oh, I don't think there's really anything in here I can do. So, where are you at, in terms of story? Do you know? Um. I I found like a crashed ship which has like these weird creatures in it. Okay. And like I got mega infected from it. Uh, which I think is right. a part of the progression as well. But uh, okay. I also have the blueprints to be able to build the thing that I can launch a rocket from, so Ah, uh, okay. So I, I assume you can't do that yet though. No, be... I could probably yeah, build the launch say. pack form, but I don't have a rocket to launch from it. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I I know this because I've I've seen what you have to do in order to do it, and ah, okay. I guess you haven't got to that area yet. So probably yeah, there's some things you have to do. I'm not. Sh I can't remember how the guy got to that area or where it is, but <laughs> I'll know when I see it if I see it. Yeah, but this doesn't look like. I will get That's through here, you, but where you should be. I need a, I need a tablet. So and I don't have a mm -hmm. tablet on me, so I need to come back with one. Right, <clears throat> here we go. Could probably do a bit more exploring of this area. Go back. Yeah, and yeah. Get a I, I, I notice a lot. You need those green block thingies. Whatever they're called, green cube energy things. Oh, I don't those. Know what yeah. Called. I got a few of them. Yeah, you'll be you'll be you'll be needing them at some point when you get to the area you need to go to progress ah, okay. for story. I mean, in a way, I guess if you don't like underwater, you could kind of consider this somewhat scary horror to some people. Yeah, some people um, do actually get scared. Of and then some some of the creatures are somewhat creepy <laughs> yeah, in this game. Especially when the music changes and you're like, oh fuck, what's going oh, on? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You hear one of their screams in the distance, you're like, yeah. oh shit. Something like, this is, this is very random, and I mean, it's not the scariest thing, but like, I remember in Devil May Cry 1, I think there's like this secret area um, that I think you swim in, or you like, you, you walk in and you like teleport into a secret area. And you're just plumped into like like this you just like you just like it's like you got teleported into the sea but there's oh literally my. nothing around you 
and like it's like completely silent and all you can hear is just 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 like i guess dante breathing underwater and then all of a sudden like these weird like demon fish creatures start coming out from the distance you can't like they're very, it's very misty and foggy and there's nothing about and i can see someone who doesn't like water being kind of freaked out when you first enter this secret area because it's yeah. like this you literally you, you turn around and there's nothing around you and i think it goes to first person mode as well so you can't see dante oh, so right. you're in, you're in first person mode and it's literally just white foggy water and it's all silent it's kind of creepy it's like very atmospheric <laughs> it's like it's like huh there's nothing around here what one like is you that like in, i'm then? pretty certain sorry what? what one is that in then we'll devil may cry one I think, oh the I first one correctly. yeah i never played that yeah. one yeah yeah there's um because there's a lot of like secrets in that um in that game like lots of, like secret areas but a lot of the time they expect you to like return to part of the castle and like you'll you'll play a mission where you can get like an extra health or whatever um there are, it is optional but i remember doing a live stream with it and i was like huh this is actually kind of creepy um, <laughs> i didn't even know this was a thing like you just like i say you just plonked into like what seems to be the like this random ocean underwater and there's nothing about but these like creatures that dark like demon fish creatures that come out of the distance and um they try to attack you you gotta like snipe them you get like a weapon to snipe things underwater i think if i remember correctly and you and and you gotta like kill them all and once you kill them all you get like a uh, um and a heart thing i forgot what they're called because i haven't played them in my cry in years um i still need to play free um i don't want to play two though because two shit but uh yeah, i, I need well. to play three at some point yeah i got bored of two ah right i got really bored of two i don't even know how far i got before i got bored <laughs> um you know bosses and enemies take too long to kill and you can't really there isn't really, like really any like combo system really like Devil May Cry one it's all like it's mainly just guns like you're just standing there just mashing the gun like, mashing oh, really? the guns it's like very repetitive and boring yeah and like I say bosses just take forever to kill I'm like I'm so bored I just want to move on <laughs> like get on with it and I don't know the game feels very slow paced as well um, very slow paced the areas don't seem to be as interesting like if they like if you make if you make a a big like mansion castle interesting right then they must have done something right in my opinion but like nah Devil May Cry 2 is just a snooze fest if, if you ask me okay <laughs> I need to play free because I hear free I hear free is most people's favorite um they say it's the best one uh I think it's three or four I tend to hear oh it's pretty good Mm. Of course, we're getting five as well at some point. Yeah, it's next year, isn't it? Yeah, probably. I think most of the games that were announced at E3 are like next year or February yeah. like time, Resi, yeah. roughly around that. The Resi remake. I think that's how it like yep. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts, I think, is February as well. No, no, I'm not gonna play a Kingdom Hearts, but I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm watching a play for a Kingdom Hearts. Oh yeah. The YouTuber I watch, um, I watch him because I he did because he um did a channel called um Extra Credits, which is like a sort of like a okay. game theory where he talked they like, they used to talk about subjects on game development and stuff. Okay. And then he created like this Let's Sounds Play channel. Neat. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty interesting channel. But he um he quit that a while ago. Ah, okay. But um, then he what the fuck is that? And then he set up a um, let's play channel, and he played Dark Souls on it. So I watched okay, his yeah. uh, playthrough of Dark Souls after uh -huh. I, after I'd already completed it myself, obviously. But yeah, I watched <laughs> his um, playthrough of that, and now he's doing yeah. a story mode playthrough of Kingdom Hearts, where basically he cuts out like repetitive grinding, and then just shows basically. Shows enough combat so you can get an idea of how the combat works, and then like the story right. sections and stuff. Hmm. Okay. So that's pretty interesting. Cause I'll probably never get around to playing them. So. Mm. I might always. Might always just watch that and. Get the story in that. 
So I might actually yeah. play the third one when it comes out. Mm. But I'm not going to play through, like... Because I think there's, like, six games or something in the series. There's, like, spin-off series, but apparently they're not spin-off series. It's like Yeah, apparently... Because um, <laughs> he was saying... so confusing. Like, it's actually super important to watch the... Um, to play the actual spin-offs, because there's, like, major story details. That, yeah. Like, if you don't they're, play they're it, you won't actually games. understand what happens in the future game so it's yeah. like it's a bit weird if that's you can't like play... important yeah that yeah. should really be a main number it should be kingdom hearts 2 and 3 and 4 and whatever yeah i feel like i feel like if they if they if they were if they like to complete these spin-offs they should have had these stories not be so related yeah so that they can be spin-off stories like um Prince of Persia of Forgotten Sands does that. It's it's a sequel that's in between uh um in between Sands of Time and War Within, but it was created way after the trilogy had already been finished. Um so there was so it's a sequel that was made afterwards. And so it's like they didn't really need to be one because they had the story set up, but they made it so that it's not like related to say war within like it doesn't yeah. like you don't need to play forgotten sands to understand what happens in in, in, in war within yeah. now war within story technically really continues from sands of time so you don't have to play forgotten sands it's a it's it, like i said it's a spin-off it's kind of like a what if this happened um it's his own little story um and that's how you do it i feel like but now yeah. apparently like you, you you can't just play one and two you have to play one, one point five, two, <laughs> two point five, and it's like what? And then apparently there are like other spin-offs, like on like Game Boy Advance or something, or Nintendo uh, DS. I don't know. Yeah, there is like a because um, like handheld ones. The um, because you're talking about Kingdom Hearts, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because um, the guy oh shit, I need to repair this. The guy who I'm watching, he's saying um, he did a game. Oh shit, it's me getting me. Um, <laughs> but he played um, he he. Because he started with one, and then he went to, I think it's called Chains of Memories Redux. Yeah. Which is a remake yeah. of the Game Boy version of Chain of Memories, which was like a right. top-down 2D sort of game. And this they remade it into like fully 3D. Yeah, yeah. So I okay. think like, yeah, there's some that they just remade for console and stuff <laughs> that were on handheld. Yeah. But then, like this, this other one, this uh, the second one he played, which was that Chain of Memories. The gameplay changes to like card-based sort of gameplay, where you use uh. cards to do combat, at, like uh, use your abilities and stuff. And it's like hmm. a bit of a departure from the actual uh, main series ones. Hmm. It's interesting though. Interesting series. That. Um, I was gonna say something, something like that reminds me of a game where um you use kind of cards for combat. I played one mm. called um Lost Kingdoms. Oh yeah, you did. Yeah, where you throw that, cards on I, the floor. I I don't think that's what I was thinking of, ah, but right. yeah, it's kind of like that, I suppose, but. Um, I, don't know. I feel like like I, there's something in my head that I'm thinking of, but I just can't <laughs> Think can't it put is. it together. I can't put it together what it is. I feel like there's I, something I, I've ever played or seen where like yeah. there's something kind of like that. Yeah, anyone I've that played kind of kind of like basically kingdoms. summons like you throw a card down and a summon comes out. Oh, kind of okay. like realist. It's kind of like Yu-Gi-Oh, but 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 com but actual like actual combat type <laughs> thing where like the monsters come out and like attack the other monsters. Like it's, it's kind of like Yu-Gi-Oh sort of. I can't remember what it is though. Uh. Yeah, the ga the gameplay for Kingdom Hearts seemed fine. It's 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 it's. I mean, it's an RPG. Uh, I hear I hear I hear. Obviously, that is the main like the the the, the, the battle systems are fine. Um, uh, it's just the story is very all over the place. Yeah, <laughs> very all over the place. Very confusing. 
and yeah, that's they do like the thing is because the story they, confusing. <laughs> well, because they try and shove the story in your face, it's partly it's partly the reason why it puts me off from playing the series. Like, if I blocked out the story, I might give it a go. Yeah. If it's a decent RPG in terms of gameplay, but the story just is just like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I'm so confused. I mean, look, there's e there's 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 fucking there's fucking specific Kingdom Heart terms that mean certain things. Yeah. That only Kingdom Hearts fan would mean. And I'm like, I'm like, what the heck, bro? <laughs> Jeez, this series is going in like like a casual person would be like, I don't know what the hell you're talking about, mate. And they they probably mean something else in general, but it's it's the game's equivalent of them calling this this, and I'm like, why though? <laughs> <laughs> but whatever, I guess. But this is so confusing. Uh, I'll be honest, I don't really know what's the point of Kingdom Hearts. I'm talking about story. Like, I don't really, I don't get what they're doing. What is Sora doing? I don't actually understand. I don't really get it. Well, like, the main <laughs> crux is he's trying to reconnect, like, to f f solve this problem with these creatures called the Heartless, where he's got to, like, right. he's trying to seal up the hearts of the world so the Heartless can't get them. Okay. That's what I've worked out. But the thing is, like, from what it sounds like, the story up to two is like tame compared to like the craziness that it gets to in further on. So it's mm. like, I don't know how it's gonna get weirder than it already is. And he's like, oh, this is like in the first one, something happens, and he's like, oh, this is the crux of like basically the entire other games, and like this is the main part, like a really important aspect. And it's like, okay, <laughs> it's like, just it seems weird. Yeah, because like when I when I when I when I saw like the trailers for Kingdom Hearts three, and then I know, I saw fans of Kingdom Hearts would be like, "Why is this person alive? Why is this person alive? Why is this person alive?" And I was like, "Did these people die?" And then other people are like, "Oh, it's fine. Like they can just bring people back in these games." I'm like, "Can they?" And I was like, <laughs> "Oh, that's gonna that that sounds annoying already. Like <laughs> killing off people and then bringing them back. It's like for fuck's sake." What are they, Ganondorf? Like, they just <laughs> kill him off and then bring him back again because you have to have Ganondorf for the Zelda game? Like, I don't know. I don't, I'm not really a big fan of those type of plot things where it's like, keep bringing the same person back to life. Like, if you want to bring him back, don't kill him off, in my opinion. Yeah. I, I don't know. If you, like, if you want to do, like, one, one or two games where, like, they try and resurrect the person, okay. But not, like, an entire series... Like, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of that. <laughs> I want new villains. It's like, it's like, of course it's this villain. Every time. It's like, that's just boring. If you ask me, we need variety. Yeah. Actually, speaking about resurrecting characters, I've started watching uh, Supernatural again. Oh, yeah. yeah I'm yeah, still yeah. on the Darkness series, but, um, but yeah. Ah. Uh. Finally you're a, you're a season behind, I think. I think it's like two seasons, to be honest. <laughs> oh, okay. I can't remember. Yeah, I think there's 13 and I'm on like season 11, so. Oh, okay. So, so yeah, it's going to be a while Fuck, before. What was I've season 12? I can't even remember. The one with the darkness. No, 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 yeah, no, no season you're on season 11. Yeah, yeah, season, I'm, I'm I don't thinking know about, about what, what happened after season yeah. 12. I'm trying to remember. Oh yeah, I I remember. I remember. <laughs> was that really a whole season? I guess it was. Yeah, it was. Of course. Yeah, yeah. I remember. I remember. Yeah, yeah. I won't spoil it if you haven't seen it. No, seen yeah. it. So. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I remember now. Yeah, I I uh, I I missed an episode of season thirteen, unfortunately. And, ah, right. Um. I just ended up watching the last episode of season 13, so that's done now. Now, I thought they were done, but they did that thing like they always do, where they leave off on a cliffhanger, ah, so I'd okay. be surprised if they do... I'd be surprised if they don't do a season 14, I'll be honest. They did say they were going to stop at 13, but then I saw articles saying that future series are going to be a bit shorter than previously. 
Mm. So I think they might be getting to a point where they're starting to wind down because normally when they start doing shorter seasons, it's because like. I feel like it wouldn't be a good ending if they if they ended it where on, they it, did. on the cliffhanger yeah. that they've ended it. If you ask me. Yeah, I don't like but, when series do yeah. that because it's just like. No, do I? Why? <laughs> Who but, doesn't? Yeah. <laughs> Like, obviously, sometimes it does make sense to leave it in a way that you're, like, questioning things, but that still annoys me even when it makes sense. <laughs> There's one thing that always annoys me, though. There's one series that I watched called Flash Forward. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. Um, I've heard of it. I've yeah. never watched it, though. They ended it at a point, because the thing is, they cancelled the series, but the way they end the fucking last episode, and I'm just like, really, for fuck's sake? Didn't, they bring, it's a, gonna didn't end. it bring it back though? No, flash forward. They, I don't think they ever brought it back. Are you sure? Because I swear my dad was talking about it recently. Let's have a look. If they did, it's very recent that they brought it back. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. I think my dad was telling me he like they it came back because he watches it. You see. Right, let's have a look. Pretty certain he told me recently. He said, he said, "Oh, they finally, they finally bring this flash forward series back." I mean, I never watched it, but he was telling me about it anyway. <laughs> Apparently, he said it's like different from the original, though. I don't know what he means by that, but. <clears throat> well, according to the internet, it ended in 2010 and hasn't come back, so. <laughs> Mm. I, don't know. I don't know. I can only tell you what he told me. That's what he said. He said it's back. I'll so do I some research know. on it. And unless it's look. unless it's called something else, but it's the same thing. I don't know. I'm not I'll, really I'll sure. Have a look but into it. I don't know. I've never watched the series, so I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Another series series that they ended that did my head in because they cancelled it was a series called Surface. Okay. I love that, but they cancelled it, so <laughs> that's another one that I would never see. Because that right. one they ended on like a point and it's like, really? That's how it's going to end? <laughs> it's, just, oh, it's just so annoying. I hate it when series like get good and then they cancel them and it's like, really? <laughs> After one fucking season they've cancelled it and it's like, ridiculous. <laughs> it's so good. Does made him make me angry. There must have been reasons for doing it, though. I guess they just didn't make enough money from it. Yeah, last the thing. They just it's, didn't it's, get it's a shame when that happens, them. but the thing is, it had millions of viewers, and it's like, really, you needed more than that. I keep hoping that the directors of it will like do a Kickstarter or something to try and bring the series back, but it looks like they've just given up on it. Doubt that. Yeah. Because they have said they would be open to doing like new Excuse series, but yeah, the the thing is, we do, we don't really know what the budget is for yeah. these type of things. It's just frustrating. Mm. But not a lot I can do about it. I just have to cry about Speaking it. Speaking of money problems and budgets, do you hear about the Telltale series? Oh yeah, they've uh, <laughs> they're gone, aren't they? Yep, they are gone. Officially done. Yeah. Um, there's, uh, no, no season three of Walking Dead now. Well, I think they're thinking of trying to finish off the, uh, final season. Well, that's what I heard. Yeah, but then I have heard other that. stuff where people are like, oh, no, they're not going to be able to. They're just saying that they will. And it's like, really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, I, see, I, I also heard on Twitter that apparently... I think uh, an employee of theirs is suing them on some sort of charges or something for so much such money. So it's not looking good for them, I can tell you that. Yeah. Not not, not a good situation. I mean, I've never played a Telltale game, so I have, like, no opinion on it. But, you know, it's, it, it's still kind of... It's still kind of, you know, a little bit sad yeah. when any sort of gaming company has to kind of you know disappear and stuff styles was talking about it on 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 sunday and he was you know i think he was i think he was the most annoyed to be <laughs> honest because he played like most of the telltale games so ah, right. i can understand that i was like oh fair enough i've got no ties to him but he was like 
He was like, but they were like selling really well. They didn't have enough money. Did like they have financial problems or management problems? And I was like, yeah, well, we we I said we don't know what their budget was or what was going on or anything. Basically, they so... stretched themselves too thin. They did too many because mm -hmm. um, they did a load of uh, what's the word? Uh, oh. Episodes. licensed licensed things like they licensed did um, games. they did like game of thrones yeah. ones and stuff and apparently they Batman made them too quickly and, yeah. and apparently a lot of people mm. said they weren't great right and and apparently employees for ages have been saying that they should go back to making some of the more demanded ones like um apparently a lot of yeah. people like the uh oh what's it called uh, is it wolf among us or something I don't know. I think it's cool. Yeah, that's like <laughs> yeah, a that's fairy person. tale sort of um, based series, like a detective fairy tale, adult fairy tale based thing, like based on okay. like Red Riding Hood and stuff. And apparently, a lot of people like that. Hmm. But instead, they went for all these like these licensed ones, and yeah, didn't. That, apparently, a lot of employees are saying that's basically <laughs> why they fucking failed. But they yeah. fucked the employees over majorly. Like yeah, sackable. well, that's what that's why they're being sued. Yeah, but that's the thing I is, hear. people are saying they've um they've filed for bankruptcy, so they'll probably not even be harmed <laughs> by that suit, lawsuit because they'll just go, well, we ain't got no money to pay them, so yeah, we can't deliver. Yeah, so hopefully the people will get some some kind of compensation, but it's not looking it's not looking good for them. So we'll just have to wait mm -hmm. and see, wait and see how it goes. The courtroom might award them money. Yeah. Um, depending on the situation and stuff, I guess. Yeah. I only ever played like season one and two of the Walking Dead series. Got bored of it. Yeah. To be well, I haven't played any. The only one that interested me was was the Batman one because it was yeah. well Batman. <laughs> that's about <laughs> it. And I I never played it. I watched I watched someone play it, but that's about it. I'm not really. I'll be honest. I'm not really a huge point and click and let the story kind of play on its own type of thing. Nor am I, to be honest. <laughs> I, 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 I'd like to be in control. I'd like to actually go around doing things. A lot of the time, a lot of the time these games are literally just quick time events and I'm not, I don't really like that. Like, I want to be able to do everything myself. Yeah. Like, I want to be able to pull the trigger um, rather than let the quick time event do it. <laughs> it's like, well, I'm not going to miss unless I fuck up the quick time event, and it's a quick time event. And no one likes quick time events, so yeah, I, I don't know. Um, well, it's one of the reasons why I don't like. I don't really have interest in playing those type of games because I just, I just don't like what they're all about. Some people like that. That's fine, but nah, that's not for me really. No. <laughs> Want to be in control of my own actions. <sighs> I spent this whole stream just trying to get back to that bit where I died <laughs> last stream. At least I've done it now. I've got my ship back, so... <laughs> And I opened that um, thing I needed to the tablet for, so I got a bit more data in there. Yeah. Not that it helped me, because that's just giving me a bit of research. Although, from what it looks yeah. like, from what I was reading, I need to go super deep to uh, progress the story. Mm -hmm. But to do that, I'm going to need to upgrade my uh, my big Cyclops. I know there is there. I know there is another one of those like kind of like temple alien things that you do have to end up going at yeah. some point. Um, I couldn't tell you where it is though. <laughs> yeah, I was reading a but... document and it said to find a cure to this infection I have, I need to go to somewhere which is in a volcanic region and is one point four kilometers underwater. Right. And I can't take my seam off that deep, so I'm going to have to take my Cyclops. Mm hmm. Right. But I need to get. I just think I have some. Yes. No, that's not what I want. I want some. <sighs> <sighs> Do 
I seriously not have any mushrooms? What the hell? <laughs> I used to have loads of them. I'm just edit. I'm just editing my video while this is going on. Oh. <laughs> I gotta get it done anyway. So yeah. Once I have it done, I'll just render and it should be fine. Yeah. Leave it alone. <laughs> Uh, uh. No. <clears throat> I end the stream about one half one. Yeah, that's fine. Oh no. Okay. I've <clears throat> I gotta forget not get not. Don't know what I gotta forget I gotta not forget. <laughs> oh I can't even I can't even English anymore. <laughs> um I mustn't forget I mustn't forget to stream myself actually later on. Oh right, yeah. If I forget. <laughs> I don't. I don't really. I don't really do anything on Tuesdays now. I, I, they're just kind of labeled random Tuesdays because, like, I kind of feel like streaming, but I don't really know what I want to do because I don't want it. I don't really want it to be like. I don't want like, every every stream we do to be kind of like our channel where it's just the same old thing. I kind of want streams to be different. Yeah. To, uh, our our Let's Play channel. Um, that's what that's why that's why I do like the challenges and stuff. Yeah. Um, maybe I'll like one day where I'll do a let's play like I'm not doing 2003 at the moment, but like, but since I don't know what the fuck I'm doing on Tuesday, they just kind of like random whatever I feel like doing at the time, which is yeah. for whatever I feel like streaming. So, I'm going to be trying Digimon World Randomizer, um, tonight because someone was uh telling me about it. Um, last time, and I'm like, yeah, you should give it a shot. I'm like, eh, I guess. I'm not a big fan on certain randomizers, but I'll I'll give it one stream and see how we go. Yeah, I've been watching her. Um, holy shit, I nearly killed me. Um, but yeah, I've been watching her bloody um, Ocarina of Time um, randomizers play Randomizer. for a year. Yeah. He's got the Skull Toolers um, randomized and the. Uh, Ooh. And the uh, all the items, so. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, I've not seen all Green of Time. I've 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 seen a link to the past randomizer, but I've not seen all Green of Time. Yeah. And I mean, I already seen Link to the Past, and like, it is literally like you can go to like where the Master Sword is, <laughs> and it's fucking arrows <laughs> instead. <laughs> um, so it's kind of it's kind of funny, and like. Um, you can actually go to an area where you would like um, get like the boomerang, and and it's the it's the tempered master sword. So now you have the most powerful sword in the game way earlier than you're supposed to, and it's like wow. So it can either like screw you over, or it can be like really good. Yeah. Um, obviously, because it's randomized, but it's just it is kind of interesting um, as to what you like, what items you get, and, yeah. and whatnot. Yeah, because he had cause he um, determines what you can do. Yeah, because he only had Deku sticks for like the first part of the game, as well oh, as yeah, him yeah. trying to. And he had to like be careful when he used them because if he he only had a couple, and if he lost them, he wouldn't be able to attack anything. Uh, That's hilarious. <laughs> uh, yeah, the Deku sticks are as strong as the Master Sword, but their uh, their durability is yeah, not. Yeah, not great. <laughs> <laughs> It's basically like the big Goron sword, but worse. Yeah. Really. He actually got that recently as well in the most recent one of your video he did. Uh huh. That's quite funny. I don't think I ever went on my way to get the big Goron sword. I don't think ever. Just didn't bother. I didn't really see the point. No. Yeah. I feel like it's better to have your shield 
and your master sword, and your master sword's plenty strong anyway. Yeah. Um, so it makes sense in Link to the Past to make your sword stronger in that game. Though I think you have to. I can't remember. It's been a while since I played Link to the Past. It's basically the exact same thing in Link Between Worlds. Um, I think it's optional. You, you pretty much have a much easier time if you do make your Master Sword stronger. Yeah. If you don't, you will struggle. Um, the game is like, well, they kind of... I guess the game kind of like expects you to be stronger, but I'm pretty certain you, it can be done. It just like, you know, the enemies will take more hits and, yeah. and stuff, but... It's definitely worth making it stronger for sure. And then you can have a gold master sword. <laughs> that looks pretty. Nice. <sighs> I actually kind of wish they'd do that in 3D games, actually, um, where you can temper your master sword and make it better, like they do in, like they, they've done, like, in the past and stuff. You but... can even draw its mask, can't you? Um... Get that upgraded sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I meant specifically the Master Sword. But, oh, right, yeah. But, but, but yeah, I meant specifically make the Master Sword stronger. And I mean, it's it's sort of like Skyward Sword, when you're forging the Master Sword, mm -hmm. which does make it stronger. But obviously, you're creating the Master Sword. But but that's like probably the closest thing yeah. to like strengthening that sword. But yeah. <clears throat> Ah, there we go. Hey, I recently found out because I um I subscribed to the uh, Photoshop thing where you um pay monthly and that for it. The the what? Sorry. The Photoshop. I am um, subscribed to that like a while ago, and it's actually been oh, coming out yeah. of my account like for ages, and I keep forgetting to use it. But um, right. I recently thought, well, screw it, I'm going to cancel it for now because I'm not getting great use out of it. So I went to cancel it and found out that because I subscribe to a yearly thing, if I cancel it now, I'll have to pay 37 quid to cancel it. Mm. Damn. So, um, but luckily, when I did that, they were like, oh, do you want um, 60 days of free... Um, of a of a of a, of a to be free for sixty days, so I don't need to pay nothing for sixty days. So it was beneficial me trying to cancel it at least, because that means for two months I don't need to pay for it. But I didn't even realise I had a yearly subscription. I thought I could cancel at any time. I obviously didn't read that carefully enough. Hmm. Oh, and you have Sony Vegas, don't you? All that, like, budget version. The, yeah, the cheap yeah. version. Does that always tell you to, like, give you, say, oh, why didn't you upgrade when you load it up? Um. Because mine bloody does, and that's annoying as shit. Not with mine. Yeah, it keeps being like, oh, um, why don't you upgrade to premium, to, to the latest version every time I load it up? So what do you have? Um... What do you use? What's it called? Let's go have a look. Vegas Pro 14. Mm. Well, see, I have I I have an old Vegas program because 
um I bought it I bought it um ages ago, like way before like like fourteen, thirteen all that were out. I actually have eleven. So mine's quite old. Oh, um, okay. That might be why then. Yeah. I have a more recent one so they're pressure on me. Well, it used to... It, I mean, like, like when I first got it, it used to tell me to upgrade to 12 and 13. Um, mainly 13. Um, and yeah. I was like, well, no, because, well, I don't want to pay any more money to <laughs> to buy a new <laughs> version. And the version that I, that I run is fine. Um, and I've just never upgraded, so I've always been stuck at 11, ah, to be okay. honest. So... Yeah. It's just done my head in. Every time I load up, it's just like... And I've clicked don't remind me, yet it still fucking reminds me every goddamn time. Hmm. It's well annoying. Because it costs like $400 to upgrade. And it's like, oh, I can't afford that shit. Damn. I can't afford mm. that. I only got this version because um, that is in a humble bundle for like $15. Ah. Uh. And it does everything I need anyway, so I don't need to upgrade. Yeah. Well, that's kind of why I have the the uh, the cheap version because it's like, well, I don't really need the expensive version. Yeah. Um, because it does everything I need. I'm not gonna do any crazy fancy edits mm. or anything. Exactly. Um, so it's fine. Maybe like this, like I always say, like maybe like in the future, if I need something more efficient or better, yeah. Or if you're gonna tell me that. The, the you know the updated version is gonna like I don't know make rendering a lot faster then yeah sure I can <laughs> I could I could see someone wanting to buy that you know faster rendering times but if it's nothing like that then really at the moment I don't really need anything like that anyway um so it's just kind of like eh I might as well stick with what I might as well stick with what works save money and all that you know yeah exactly <sighs> it's like I was thinking yesterday right which when I when I think about it is really sad. Remember when I did that reaction video, the Spyro, and I l literally like within a day got like a thousand views. Oh now, think right, yeah. About, think about what that took. That took a webcam, a free recording program, and nothing <laughs> else. What does it take to do a let's play? You have to get the game if you don't have it. Don't have it. A capture card if you don't have it or a, a mic if you don't have it all that costs money to record and then no one watches it anyway <laughs> think about that no, think know. about that and i do in a reaction video for like cheap ass nothingness and get a thousand views in a day <laughs> that's pretty sad that's pretty sad when i think about it i was like what i was like when i think i was like huh maybe i should just give up and do reaction videos <laughs> No, I'm not gonna do that. But it's just like when I thought about it, it's like, wow, man! Like putting all this money into it and it just doesn't work out. And I put literally hardly like hardly anything for that reaction video, and that kid like way better than me. Anything else? It's like, huh? Wow. <sighs> yeah, it can be quite frustrating. That's sad. But... Definitely. It's like <sighs> stupid little things. That trigger me when I see people say something like this. This YouTuber is like the hardest YouTuber, the hardest working YouTuber ever, and I'm like, but how do you know that? <laughs> there are there are hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands, probably even more on YouTube that make YouTube content. Mm. How do you know out of all those people that that specific person is the hard, most hard working yeah, exactly. you don't know what goes into their videos you don't know what goes into to, like how long it takes for them to do it or yeah, how exactly. long or, or, you know what needs to be done it's it's stupid little things like that that annoy me it's like people just say it and they just assume that this person's hard working okay they might be hard working they might be not but to say that the most hard working when you've got so many other people doing the same thing you'd be surprised lot of people and no i'm not just talking about myself i'm just saying in general where they like spend hours and hours working on something trying to get it the best way they can get it to present to people and it probably doesn't even get, get appreciated it probably gets very underappreciated and then there's someone who probably doesn't even work that hard on a video and gets fucking stupid ass views <laughs> and that's that's unfortunately how 
how I see YouTube a lot of the time now, uh, how it is and stuff. Um, so it just annoys me when people say, oh, this person's like the most hard work. And I'm like, you have no idea, dude. You can't say that. You can't claim that. I'm sorry. There's just too many people and you don't know the workload of said people and what they do. You just don't know. You can't just exactly. claim that. It's just, no, come on. Just silly thing to say. But there you go. <laughs> and they probably only like watch him and or her or whatever or only a few people so they're just like yeah that person was basically the best it's like wow <laughs> yeah they're biased the only best person that you know of because there's any best person that you've seen yeah, exactly. but there are a lot of other people out there <laughs> loads loads of people Ah, good. I don't have to edit no more right now. I can just click <laughs> render. Just let it do its do its thing. Ugh. Well, your your we it might have been quiet, but I would say your your stream has already been one hundred percent successful. More successful than any of my streams have been the last right. past couple of weeks. I've been dead. I don't know if you saw my message in the. Oh Discord, yeah, you but... were saying. So what, yeah. have you had like no viewers at all? Well, the the only the only the only the only person who's who's a trooper really um, is Footloose. He tends to come in a lot later though. Like I'll start at eight o'clock and then like an hour in, he'll come in at like nine or nine thirty. Ah right. And he's the only one. Um, with the exception, with the exception of every now and again, um, Jacob will literally come in and drop bits, and then I think he'll disappear. Oh, really? <laughs> like that. <laughs> yeah, like he'll, wow. he might come in and say, yo, what's up, or hey, guys, and he'll, he'll like, drop bits for us, and then, like, you won't hear him after that. And I assume he's gone after that, because you don't hear him. Yeah. Um, but other than that, like... Yeah, and Footless will always mention it. I like, like he'll always say, he'll always say, it's been so quiet. And I'm like, I know. And I'm like, I can't do anything about it. I don't know what you want me to do. No, I know. I don't want it to be quiet. If you could what can I do? It, you would. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I know it's quiet, dude. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I'm not playing Fortnite, goddammit. <laughs> I refuse. No. <laughs> not what I'm all about. So, I don't know. I, I, I mean, I personally still think we have a chance. We just need to play more modern games, yeah. new games. We need to capitalize on that shit. I've, I've, I've seen some people on YouTube who have kind of like just played pretty much just like, like, whether it be one or two modern games, but you can see that their subscribers and their views have been going up like rapidly or a lot more quicker than ah, us. Right. And now they've, and, and they've actually just recently got. 100k subscribers which means they've got their silver play button from youtube so i think it is possible to kind of stick to modern shit if you want to yeah really get them get the views viewers, yeah. um which obviously requires money and you have to buy these games and buy these mm -hmm. new consoles and pretty much try and get the shit out as soon as you can and then there's potential for you um you know Not guaranteed, of course. No, but there's but it is a potential. Chance, yeah, it's more likely. Yeah, you're more like. I mean, uh, uh, let's be honest. You're more likely to get views for a newer game than an old game, especially if you capitalize on a game that's new and popular and everyone's talking about. Um, you know, and if you do something in, like you know, if you do it's, it's even more, but perhaps if you do something a bit more unique and interesting with it, someone might be more interested in checking uh, something out on it. Yeah. I mean, like I said. I did a reaction video that cost nothing. Like, it weren't playing the game. It was just doing a reaction video, <laughs> and that got a thousand views. So I think that kind of speaks volumes, really. Um, you know, you uh, know, um, the right content, and you know, it can happen. It is possible. Yeah, I plan on um, doing that playing that expansion pack when it comes out so that might help mm. for this although I probably won't do like a full 
playthrough of the early access because obviously there will still be more content added. Mm. I'll play. I'll probably play it every ten time. Like they release new shit for it. Yeah, yeah. So it's supposed yeah. to be a pretty big uh, expansion as well. It's supposed to be pretty much like near enough a full game. So. Oh okay. Because it's actually standalone. Technically, you could just literally you play the expansion pack on its own and not even own Subnautica. Hmm. Well, I'm hoping I might be me playing Digimon World might get some viewers. I used to get quite a few viewers from it, but I haven't been getting them anymore. Ah, so, right. Like people have lost interest, or they they see it's me and they fuck off immediately. <laughs> they said it's it's because I'm playing Digimon World. Let's be honest. If anyone else would be fine. No one wants to see me. <laughs> I I get it. I know when I'm not wanted. <laughs> Just fine. Same with Spyro. Like, I remember that marathon. Got so many viewers. And whenever I play Spyro now, like, those viewers are gone. Oh, like, great. they've never come back. Yeah, they've never come back. I mean, I mean, there are even some people who are like, I want you to play more Spyro. And I'm like, I've played all of the games. <laughs> what's the point of playing them again <laughs> just keep like come on <laughs> like well i'll get fucking bored immediately like i need to play other games i don't yeah, just exactly. play spyro um you know and it's not like the reignited trilogy's out yet so i don't do much about that but uh, then someone was like oh I'll do like a hard mode and i'm like just played through the game again do a hard mode i'm like no and i'm like maybe and maybe like later on down the line after like i've played some other games but i'm not gonna play i'm not gonna play the same game immediately afterwards no exactly i'll get burned out and bored like i just can't do that i can't do that <laughs> nope not immediately anyway and then I and then like every now and again I'll play Spyro and no one fucking watches it anyway anymore. It's like <laughs> I guess they're all pissed off then. They went off and watched someone else, I reckon. Probably went off to a dedicated Spyro channel because there's quite a few of them. Oh really? Yeah. And then there's one. No one. There's one dude specifically. His posts keep coming onto my Twitter feed for some reason. Again, I think it's because. It must be because someone else that I'm following is liking his stuff, ah, so and it's, it's literally most of the time it's to do with Spyro. Like every now and again, there's a new Spyro announcement. Like there's annou announcement. There's there's new Spyro news on Reignited Trilogy, and there's, there's literally I will see a post come up in my Twitter feed with a video that he that this person's done. Um, like almost every time and I, and I keep thinking I'm like I don't know who this person is why is it in my feed and I'm like I guess it's because of someone else I'm following is liking his shit that comes up in your feed yeah like, uh, alright <laughs> I guess I mean I guess that's dedication for those types of channels. Mm. Like, if they literally, as soon as something new come out, they're like, oh, I'm fucking news, reporting it. And that's <laughs> not even just news. Like, they do gameplay, but, like, they literally are trying to do everything at that moment, get everything done. I'm just like, wow, all right, well. And I'm not, like, Game Explain or, or Did You Know Gaming or, you know, any of those, like, popular news outlets types. I'm just yeah. talking about I'm just talking about fucking, you know, smaller channels that are just trying to get their ass up in the game of YouTube, I guess. And they're like they're trying to do everything to get themselves out there. And it's like, well, 
good luck to you, I guess. <laughs> you want to do, you know, you want to go that far and literally report every fucking detail of every, like of every little thing. It's like, <sighs> all right. <clears throat> So quite a lot of the time I don't, like, sometimes I, like, skip out on doing, like, let's plays or doing a video on a new game because, like, if I don't get the game out immediately and get the video up there, then I don't really see much point if I'm going for views because no yeah. one's going to be watching it now. Like, it's old at this point. Like, move on to the new game. If I just want to play it just because I want to play it, um record or do a live stream sure and i go in i go in my head thinking that people might watch people might not um or maybe subscribers request it okay sure but if i'm just going for views it's like well there's no point no one's watching this right now yeah. if i'm if i'm specifically going like this is no point um you can't capitalize on views unfortunately if you don't really kind of just get it out there as soon as you can so yeah, because that's why I played that Chasm a while ago, because I thought, oh, it's just come out, that'll get a decent amount mm. of views, but pretty much no one fucking came to watch it, so, <laughs> so I was like, yeah, okay, that uh, was uh, not exactly successful, but never mind. Mm. Also, it depends on pop, like how popular the game, yeah, the game how, is. how popular the game is as well and stuff. Because obviously you could you could stream anything new, but if no one really cares yeah. about it, then no one's gonna watch it anyway. Exactly. Um, you know, but it's like you just know when you hear people about it, you hear IGN talking about it, you hear people on Twitter talking about it, you know it's a big thing. Like for example, Marvel Spider Man, everyone's talking about that. Everyone's doing photo mode and doing things, showing off things like that. People love that game. Everyone's playing it. The only problem is, is that if you can't get your shit out there quick enough, you might as well give up because everyone and their granny is probably doing a let's play of it. Yeah. So it's like, you know, <laughs> unless you get a review copy, like it's kind of difficult to, to get it out there. And then of course, depending on what country you're in, you can actually get the game up before other people as well. <laughs> That's also that, like how Americans will get lame before us. And we can't do nothing about it because we're in England. No, exactly. And we get shafted because we're the worst country, I guess. <laughs> yeah. If we're the worst country, why does everyone come in this country for our jobs? <laughs> uh, can't be as bad as other countries. <laughs> but there you go. And on very rare occasions, we do get games out before America, but yeah. in most cases, we often. don't really. Sometimes it's even exclusive games for us. Not very often, but sometimes there are. <laughs> sometimes. But most of the time, uh, Europe gets the shaft. Yeah. And we don't get a lot of releases. Yep. Like I don't play Mega Man, but I hear apparently there's a there's a physical release of uh, Mega Man Eleven um, in America, but apparently there's no physical release for physical release in Europe for whatever reason, which oh. doesn't make no sense. It's like okay, so Americans are gonna get a physical release, and I guess Japan probably, but Europe isn't for some reason. Why? Yeah. I don't understand that, but okay. <laughs> like, again, I've never played Mega Man, but it's just the fact that, like, we're talking about, if we talk about any game, like, why is Europe being shafted here? Why do they not get a physical release? I don't understand. What if they got against Europe? Don't get that, but there you go. I swear there was something else where, like, I heard, like, there was going to be a physical copy in America, but not in the UK. But I can't remember what it was. I think it was on Amusha, maybe. 
when they announced the the, the HD remaster of Anamusha, I think I think someone said on Twitter that uh, I th I think it was. I'm kind of tempted to see if I can find it because someone replied to me on Twitter saying that the UK and Europe are not getting a physical release for the American. Why though? <laughs> He's still there. Uh. Can you hear me? Oh, now can you? Mm. You cut a bit there. My internet must be fucking up, I guess. <laughs> oh, well, can't do much about that. No. <sighs> I'm going to be ending the stream in a sec anyway. Okay. My Cyclops just exploded. How the fuck did you do that? That fucking leviathan kept biting it, and I was like stuck, and I was like, shit, where do I go now? And ended up up. <laughs> so, yeah, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll just have to build another one now. Hmm. the first Cyclops that blew up of mine, though, so that's good. Hmm. <laughs> so let's build that. Just gonna see what I need to build the Cyclops. If I can build it quick, I'll, um... Yeah. I'll build that first, but if not, I'll, uh... I'll end the stream. I might like grind out resources off, off video, off stream, and then um, yeah, and then build one so that I've got one ready for next one, next stream. Mhm. Mm what's your, what's your thoughts on PlayStation Classic? Yeah, that looks interesting. There's some decent games they've announced for it so far, but unless there's a better ones, that, other ones that I want as well, I probably won't bother getting it. But if they announce some decent, uh, the rest of them are pretty good, I'll probably get one. I still think ninety pounds is kind of pricey. It's about the price opinion, they charge but... for those sort of things. Like that's how pretty much how much the uh, NES Mini is, isn't it? Well, I heard someone said it was more expensive than like the NES or the or the really? Super Nintendo or Classic. Mm. That's what I heard. Don't know. I don't know because I never got one. But <laughs> that is a bit steep. But don't know. I might get one if I have some excess cash. So it's like December know. My, and my but... plenty games. Well, well, then it could. could... I don't know. Yeah. That's going to take me ages to do, so I'll probably uh, build that Cyclops off stream. Yeah. Uh, okay, it was the yeah, it was on a Misha Warlords for whatever he. Okay. It's just not getting a physical release, but America is. Oh, really? So basically, fuck the UK. Because the As UK usual. is a piece of shit and no one cares about <laughs> us. Thanks, I appreciate it. <laughs> I, I don't remember. I did like literally because I'm from because we're from the UK. We are a piece of shit. That's what they're so. saying. Yeah, bastards. Oh, we are, <laughs> are worthless. We are not worth it. Thanks. No. <laughs> <laughs> appreciate it. <laughs> Just separate us from the rest of the world. <laughs> uh, segregated. Jesus. 
And that, I knew that annoyed, when I think I told Footloose, that annoyed him, because he's basically a physical Pretty or sick. he's not buying yeah. it at all. He, he hates digital. And, I, and, and, you know, I am kind of with him, but at the same time, you know, I will, I will be willing to obviously yeah. buy games digitally. I don't mind. Um, God, I don't even have the space for more physical shit at the moment anyway, really. But, <laughs> like... It's gonna happen eventually. It's gonna be all digital. It's gonna happen. Because it's probably not worth it for them to do a full. Cause they're probably seeing how that will do first as well. Because if they yeah, produce a yeah. bunch of physical of copies course. and then they don't sell, then they're screwed. Yep. Yep. Exactly. So they probably they probably know in America there's so many people there they'll probably sell and sell them all. But with the UK, yeah, yeah. it might be a bit more of a risk. Because mm -hmm. the thing is, they might do it in the future if, like, it sells well digitally. They might think, "Fuck it, let's let's do a physical release." Possibly, just yeah. Have to wait and see, really. Yeah. Uh, Cole asks, "I want to be a Twitch streamer like you. What do I need to start?" Um, DC I mean. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you you like you need like a decent computer or a decent laptop. Um, thank you for the follow as well, dude. Um, you need decent internet. <laughs> um, you need you you need pretty decent internet to be able to stream. Yeah. Um, and it, it kind of depends on what you're what you're playing. Um, are you playing PC games? Are you playing? Off yeah. your consoles. Yeah, because if you do um, a console, you're gonna need a uh, capture card as well. Yeah, you need a capture card. If you if you're running off your PC, you need a de you need a decent PC or a laptop. Yeah. Um, OBS decent to mic. The actual. Yeah, PC. use o o OBS is free. Yeah, OBS um, is free though. So OBS is really good. Uh, it's a free streaming software. Um, so it's really, really, really good. I mean, you could technically emulate if you use it, if you were to just test and use an emulator or something. Mm. Um, but yeah, really just like, if you, if we're just talking about PC, you just need OBS, um, a decent laptop with decent internet speed and a decent mic. Really? Just yeah, like that's pretty basic much stuff. You need. And if you want to do face cam, you need need a camera if you want yeah that, well if, yeah i i kind of i kind of put that as separate things yeah. but yeah a webcam is an extra thing in my opinion but if you want to do webcam yeah then you, yeah you'd obviously yeah. need to buy a webcam as well um unless your laptop has it built in because sometimes yeah, they have sometimes. ones built in they're not normally the best ones but i mean if it's there it's there save your money <laughs> to start off and then like maybe later on you can buy better equipment and stuff yeah really hopefully that answers your question <laughs> yeah 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 we're no experts but no. we've at least streamed enough to kind of get an idea on what's needed and stuff yeah and, and i mean it's not too much different to recording really it's just the, the difference is is that you just need a you need good internet to stream um really because <laughs> if your internet's not good enough Ain't you no won't way. be able to you'll you'll get your yeah, you'll be lagging yep. unfortunately yeah that's that's like the I think the the big thing that can hold people back with streaming is that yeah, if you don't have good internet, you're kind of screwed. You gotta have decent internet for it. Yeah, because before when I was with BT, I'd never been able to stream then because it's just nowhere near fast enough. Yeah, you you can sometimes get away with it if you have um the more lower settings. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. But. Even so, like, again, I tried getting that work with VGS, and I honestly do think it literally is just because the internet just is not good enough for it. Ah, right. Settings, he was having issues. So, it wasn't too bad. Sometimes it was all right, but it was a bit stuttery at times. So, it definitely wasn't perfect. 
Um, so I, I do think the main problem was just that his internet wasn't very good. He even yeah. told me how much, like, his, his upload speed was very bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> very, very, very bad. <laughs> so it's very low. Um, wasn't even like one uh, megabyte. It was like, I don't even know how much it was. It was almost one megabyte, but it wasn't. Um, yeah, that's way yeah. too slow for, for streaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I have streamed on like 1.5 megabytes, which is still quite low as well. But it was on low settings. Yeah. But I managed to get it to work. Um, and it was stable. It just means the quality wasn't really that good. But it was it was okay enough, I guess. People watched it back then. <laughs> so, <laughs> Obviously it was good enough to watch. I think that was when I was doing Hyrule Warriors as well, ironically enough. And we got a lot of views from playing that game. Quite a lot of while ago. Remember when you used to do them? Yeah, had some interesting discussions as well. I remember that. Like, I can't... Don't ask me how we got into the discussion of Final Fantasy Thirteen, but I do remember um, <laughs> some viewers talking about it. And then we were just having, like, conversations with a game we've never played. But we were just, like, talking about it. Like, what's the deal with Final Fantasy Thirteen? Why don't people like it? <laughs> uh, those viewers aren't around anymore. No. And they. They're long gone. I mean, they were from my other channel, but I was hoping some people would kind of hop over from that to this. When I did my last stream, but I don't yeah. know. Maybe they didn't, maybe they didn't. Maybe they didn't get the memo, I don't know. Ugh. You gotta remember the good. You gotta remember the good streams and stuff. <laughs> Maybe I should play Hot Warriors Deluxe on Switch. <laughs> not, not now. Not now. There's no point. I probably will get that game again when I get a Switch yeah. eventually. Most One likely. Day. Yeah. Yeah. Or I'll just beg people on Patreon to, to do it. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't think it'll work for me, unfortunately. Gives me the money. People don't want to give me money. They oh. want to give money to other people. who probably don't even need it as much. Yeah, exactly. It's not nice, <laughs> is it? Give All us right, the charity, money. man. Give us the money. <laughs> I want to quit my job. Give Two me pounds money. a month. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Game Busters UK charity. Two pounds a month. If you donate two pounds a month, your favorite streamers can actually make videos for you. <laughs> Buy better equipment, better quality videos, right at your YouTube door. And if you sponsor now, you even get a free Game Busters UK batch to go with your sponsor. <laughs> What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna investigate my exploded Cyclops because I just found out there's like a beacon to my exploded mm. Cyclops. So I'm wondering whether I can actually just like fix it. Mm. So maybe with less resources to just like repair it. That'd be nice. Yeah. Because otherwise, I don't know why it's pointing it out if like there's no reason for him to. So there must be some reason. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Put this shit away though. Where's my dirt? But yeah, once I've done that, I'll, uh, I'll end the stream. That'll probably be about. Yeah, head off. Last or so. Yep. Yeah. Got things to do. Put all this shit away. Oh, I need to eat something before I go as well. Go get some food. Go. 
Oops, wrong gun. Same. So did you play, um, I'm meaning to ask you this, did you, uh, get a chance to play Spyro at EGX or not? Yeah, when I posted that picture of, um, of it, that's when I was queuing the player. Ah, gotcha. What did you think of the demo? Yeah, it's pretty decent. Don't get, didn't get long to play it, but, <laughs> and that's a long ass queue, but. I'm, so I'm, yeah, good. I'm guessing it's because there's a lot of people wanting to yeah. play it. <laughs> I swear they let other people play longer than us, though. I seem to only well, sit down well, for five minutes, and then other people were there for ages. But that's what happened. With, that's what happened when when we all went before. When mm. like um, you guys were playing um, you guys were playing uh, Skyrim, and you guys were on it for a while. And then when I got to go, um. I played for it for a little bit, and then apparently the guy who was like letting people play longer, um, he got a message from his other staff peoples or whatever yeah. saying saying that uh, you're gonna have to stop people from doing that. So I basically got the short end because it's yeah. like, sorry, I'm not allowed to let you play long anymore. I was like, oh. I didn't actually play uh, Skyrim though. I couldn't bother. I know. What was that? Say again, you cut out. Oh yeah, I didn't really play Skyrim when we were there that time though. Ah. I didn't actually go on it, but um but yeah, I know you I know that he uh he was letting people play it for far longer than they wanted him to. Oh my god, what is happening here? Your uh <laughs> things vibrating there Just a bit violently. Yeah. Is that because that creature's attacking it or something? I think it got stuck on the edge of the uh, building. Oh, okay. Oh my <laughs> god! It started glitching out again while I was in it and killed me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Holy god! Shit. Did you wow. see it? I was just like in it, and then all of a sudden that starts moving and I'm dead. It had a violent reaction and then you just blacked out. Yeah, it's like what the hell? That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> that's like one death that's not my fault <laughs> but there is i found out i can't repair it but there is resources holy around shit it. Uh, that was kind of hilarious wait, i'm not wait, gonna lie wait, wait, wait. wow holy glitch no i know <laughs> that was quite funny <laughs> thing is there's Jesus. stuff in it i need to get i found out i can salvage some of my power cells that i've got in there so <laughs> i <laughs> see Oh, yeah. man. oh man, that was a that's a that's a highlight if there ever was. Yeah, one. I know. That's <laughs> because it's wedged against the actual uh, crashed aurora, so it keeps uh, every. I think every now and then it will drift into an area where it hits it, so that will glitch out for a few seconds. So basically, you got you, you can't just park anywhere. No. <laughs> you got to park. You gotta be precise yeah. with your parking. Well, I found out that with that bloody uh, the bloomin' prawn suit when it got stuck and glitched out, and I was stuck in it. Can you remember? Yeah, that? yeah. That was ridiculous. <laughs> Whoa! -ho! Big Why creatures. Just, like, nudge it out of the way. Push, 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 push. No go. <laughs> I don't think it's got realistic physics like that. <laughs> Uh, I was like, do you really want to go in here again and die? <laughs> well, I need the stuff, man. <laughs> get the power cells, get the power cells, gone. Is there anything else I can salvage? I will go down with the ship. <laughs> Well, I was hoping there's more stuff I could take, but it doesn't look like there is. Oh, that looks like it's glitching out again. Hold on, is there two of those? Oh my god, there's two of the Leviathans. Just swimming around. Oof. I'm going to have to be careful, man, if that tries to get me. They're out for blood. Yeah. That explains why I died so quickly in this ship, because obviously two yeah. were attacking at the same time. So but that, that, that's why I thought, I, I thought perhaps, um, that's why I thought that uh, the Leviathans was like, at, it was attacking it. That's what yeah. it looked like. Probably whacking into it or something and 
having that violent reaction. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Well, what is going on here, Mr. Remember Me? I I don't <laughs> Glitches. Glitches <laughs> galore. <laughs> Leviathan's everywhere, that's All what's right. going on. <laughs> Leviathan's everywhere. It stopped glitching out. Oh my god, what's happening here? Nearly head button. Stop glitching the game. It's not my fault. Wait, what? Did that just tilt? Yeah, it just like flipped towards it me. Did it just tip just over? Like... What pushed it over? I don't know, it just flipped. <laughs> but it looks like it's now rested, so it probably won't glitch out. It's on got a mind anymore. of its own. Mm -hmm. Is this just going to sit here now forever? <laughs> like... I was really hoping that'd let me just repair it. But obviously not. How did you even break it anyway? I got eaten by Leviathans. <laughs> and obviously, because they were double teaming me, it well, killed that's it your double own quick. Fault. That's not my fault. The blooming <laughs> Leviathans. They're mean. Jesus. Because the thing is, I, I did used to have... Um, Uh, but yeah, that's the reason why I, um, last time I took out, because before it ran out of charge when I was over there, so I took mm -hmm. out all my upgrades that I built for it, just in case it got destroyed. But obviously if it gets <laughs> destroyed, I can salvage them, so if I'd know now, I'd have left them in there, because one of them is something that gives me better um, shields and stuff. So I probably right. would have survived if I hadn't have, um, hadn't have destroyed it, if I hadn't have took them out, but... <laughs> Yeah, I know you can put a shield around yeah. your ship. I know it is possible. This is the reason why I only kill Ghost Leviathans, <laughs> not the Ripper. They're bloody deadly, I'll tell you that. I'll be honest. I think this is. I think this might be the first time I've seen an actual Leviathan as opposed to Ghost Leviathan. Because I think the guy I was watching the Let's Play for, I don't think I ever saw him encounter a Leviathan oh, in really? his playthrough. Ghost Leviathans. He encountered other stuff. Other there, there's like this. There was this creature that I, I don't think it was a Leviathan, but it was pretty huge. Whatever it was. Um, <laughs> but he, he he saw it and he was like, no, I'm not going there. That stay cleared. But some giant ass thing. He was quite low. I think he was quite low down to the to the to the sea. But like it was some huge thing swimming about. Ah, I don't right. think it was a leviathan. It was something else. But he was like, nope, <laughs> I'm not going there. I'm going elsewhere. Don't blame him. Plus, he did kind of edit things out, so he might have encountered one, but maybe he edited it out, I don't know, but... Since, makes sense, he did a lot of, like, scavenging and looking for stuff, and it's like, yeah, I'm just going to edit it out so you guys don't have to see it. Yeah. Pretty strange not Which having an actual sense. encounter with them, though, because they're quite <coughs> a major character thing in the game. Hmm. I've come across way too many of them. I don't think I'm going over to that oh, yeah. area again, though. I don't think I actually need to. You're only worth... The only worth killing Leviathan is in Molos River and Grand Reef. I... I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> though he, he put Kappa at the end, so I don't know if he's, like, being serious or not. I actually... Oh, no. I don't. Maybe I'm missing the joke. I, <laughs> I haven't played the game. Um, Jamie's the one who's playing the game. Um, yeah. I've seen a playthrough of the game. Um, but the guy who I watched didn't. Like, he encountered ghost Leviathans, but I didn't see him encounter just, like, general Leviathans. So, yeah, I think there's um, all sorts of, like, different types I don't really of know. Leviathans and stuff. Yeah. No, I'm just I'm just a viewer. I'm just a, I'm just a casual viewer. Uh, I've not played this game. <clears throat> I'm just here. <laughs> I'm just happy to just be here. Coming along for the ride. <laughs> yeah, coming along for the ride. I'm the co-com. That's what I am. Co-commentary.
<clears throat> oh, I know there is a big creature later on, but well, you'll you'll see when you eventually get there. Yeah. That's all I'll say. I know there's some kind of creature in containment that I've got to find. Mm. Right, I'm going to plant these and then I'm going to end the stream, guys. <laughs> it's going to be the end for now until next Tuesday. So if you want to, if you want to pop back and watch me do some more, uh, some more uh, grinding. I'll probably <laughs> more uh, some Nordica farming. Yeah. I'll probably do some uh, collect some uh, resources and build a cyclops for next stream though, because mm -hmm. that would just take too long. And how many streams I've done, I want to try and finish this game soon, <laughs> <laughs> especially before the uh, DLC comes out, which I don't know when that is. But but yeah. Anyway. I will be ending the stream now. Uh, thanks everyone for coming and all the two. I think we got two follows, didn't we? The Mister. I, I think we me. got two follows. Yeah. Yeah, so. Mister. Remember me and appreciate the follows, guys. Yeah. And appreciate stuff. it. But uh, but yeah, for now, I shall be going. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>